Hello, welcome to Road TC and part four of how to build a bamboo bike. Uh, if you haven't seen how we got to this uh, half built contraption here, then you can watch parts one to three uh, by clicking on the playlist above. Now, if you have watched parts one to three, then you might have noticed that our bike has become uh, considerably more complete in the time between then and now. And the reason for that is I came in to prep this with Chris, whose shed this is, and um, he said to me, oh, Dave, have you seen my... Uh, oscillating rotary sander and I said no I've not seen that which turns out is a perfect thing for cutting mitres in bamboo tubes and uh, yeah. we spent about what two days doing the front of the front triangle yeah I'd rather not think about that now. yeah a lot of yeah. sanding by hand <laughs> uh, whereas the back took about half an hour so that was good um, cue for montage of us doing that and you'll see how much more efficient it is with the right tools for the job do I have to do dream sequence dream sequence <laughs> okay <laughs> So we did that and now we have a thing that, well, more or less resembles a bike. It's starting to look a bit more like something that might be rideable. It has it's all like, the tubes yeah. in the right places. At the moment it's just bonded together with a, an epoxy resin, but our job today is to bind all the joints with hemp sheet and two-part epoxy. Yeah. So we're going to cut this into strips, wind them all around there and that gives the bike the structural integrity which means that I can ride it and it doesn't fall apart and I don't die. So yeah, we've been, uh, I've just been looking through the uh, slightly vague, should we say, instructions for how to do this. Um, the whole process is, it's quite handmade, so there's quite a lot of um, adjusting things by eye, making sure that things fit, um, and that's fine, it's slightly devil may care at times. But one thing that I have brought is my kitchen scale, because I figure that getting the epoxy and the hardener in the right proportion is probably quite an important part of the build, since it's the thing that means that it won't fall apart. Oh my god, that stinks! <laughs> 1st one done. I mean, I think the thing I've learned from that is that you can't be too like vigorous when you're stirring the, the resin into the cloth because the cloth sort of disintegrates and it makes it a little bit harder. So next time I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful. But I mean, it's all kind of holding together okay. Right, well we've done the head tube and we're moving on to the bottom bracket. Uh, the instructions are very clear. They say it's the most difficult part and then they go and when you've finished it that's actually there's a bit more than that but it's a little bit vague but it's the same kind of deal as the head tube so we're going to be wrapping the individual joints making sure all of the tubes are connected well with the bottom bracket shell um, and then doing it again 
and again and again. We need quite a lot of um, hemp on this joint because it's transferring a lot of power from the pedals. Right, so here we are. We've finished, I think, the, um, the wrapping of all the, the joints with the hemp and the epoxy. A few things we've learnt. First thing I did was dump a bit of hemp into the big pot of epoxy and it was disgusting and went everywhere. And that's why there's a big pile of glue down here. So it's easier to get it and rub it with the glue in your fingers if you're going to do this job, if you're going to give this a go. Um, we also found that if you work with short little bits of hemp as well, you can make little bits of structure inside as well and then wrap them around with the longer bits to, to keep it all neat and keep it held together. But we've got there and the next thing to do is bind all these again. We're going to put electrical tape around them that helps to compress the joints so when it's curing you get no voids inside them. Voids are bad I'm told. So there we go. So that's the frame all bound up with the hemp um, and it's basically finished. The, the only job is to make it look tidy, give it a lick of paint and then it's time to build it up and after that go for a ride. Yep, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Road CC's YouTube channel and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions about building a bamboo bike, do don't do 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 forget to drop a comment. In the <laughs> forget it, just forget it. We're not interested. Just watch it leave.